This is Bo. <clears throat> he fell out of his nest. And I got him when he was just about a day or two old. His eyes weren't open yet. He was just a little bitty tiny bird. Teeny tiny. He is a sparrow. And so we had to hurry up and look up how do you take care of baby sparrows. <laughs> and this is one of the things they like to do is take a bath in paper towels. Hi, Bo. We were going to... Bo is actually the second one we caught. We caught one about... Well, caught one. <laughs> Went outside and found one a week before we found Bo. And... Its name is Peep. And my daughter has that one. And it bonded with her. Like, big, big time bonded with her. And Bo bonded with me. So when I had to travel. Hi, Bo. Hi. Then Bo came with me. <laughs> oh, little guy. I see you. I see you, baby. And if you see back there on his plate, he's got little peaches. He loves about anything. We kind of found out they're like the scavengers of the bird world, so they'll eat just about anything. That includes bugs, food off your plate, whatever you're drinking, they'll try to drink it too. So you just have to be careful because they'll dive bomb your plate. Um... They also will eat insects. They like insects. So, apparently Bo didn't read his manual because there was a cricket in here this morning and he was like just screaming at it like, get it out, get it out. So, Grandpa, my dad, just thinks this little bird is the cat's meow. So he has an idea to uh, write a children's book about Bo and all of his little adventures because he has had quite the life already at his young little age. Bo is only about, mm, I want to say two months old now. I'll have to ask Ashley. We figured they were born... Right around, I can't remember. I'll have to ask my daughter. But, um, I was thinking, like, Peep was born in the beginning of June. And, and Bo was probably born the next week. I've got a coffee box right there that I... <laughs> I cut the holes out of. And he loves to land on that thing and stomp around and make noise. Limbo. <laughs> Are you buzzing me? Hmm? Are you buzzing me? So anyway, I guess Bo is done. That is how little guys take their baths he likes water baths too but um most of them don't he likes either one he likes to splash if there is a mess to be made Bo is all in that's why he's got the little shreds of paper towels and stuff he loves making a mess as you can see this is my bed he has no concept of that idea to him. It's his bed, too.
Oops, my elbow slipped, sorry. <laughs> Hi, Bo. Hello. Eek. Eek. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. I got your butt. I got your butt. That's me with Sun at him. But he'll imitate it. He also imitates the bird outside. There's a bird outside that comes all the time to the window out here. <clears throat> and I couldn't figure out what call Bo was making. Like it doesn't sound like a like one of him, you know? I just couldn't figure it out, couldn't figure it out. Finally one day I saw it. And it was had come down to the door, to the screen door, and it was outside talking to Bo, trying to get Bo's attention. And it was a cardinal. It was a big red cardinal. Oh my gosh. And Bo was like imitating it back. And I thought, well, no wonder Bo's not afraid of anything. He thinks he's a giant bird. He thinks he's a cardinal. Anyway, that's Bo, and I will try to get much more footage for you guys and and uh, get it uploaded onto the channel. I've been going through a very, very painful time, so I figure if I'm going through it with the vibro and the lupus and probably everybody with chronic pain conditions out there, y'all are probably going through it. So, um, I'll try to get us some, some video lined up that'll make us, make us smile. Bye, Bo. Bye. <clears throat> Bye, baby. <clears throat> okay, that's it for Bo. Bye, guys. Lots of love to you.